We have uh, David Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group, the author of Full-Time Work and the Meaning of Life. David, you're here. Uh, stock market going down. Jerry Willis made some, I thought, some very interesting connections. Mm -hmm. I don't know that this is about the economy. It may be about fears in the Middle East. What do you think? Well, what's interesting is that bond yields came down and the stock markets are down. And so we've had a total correlation with stocks and bonds, where bond yields have been going higher on the day stocks drop. Mm. Today was a little bit of the opposite. Oil was up, but not that much. Mm. I mean, it was, you're still around 86, 87, but it was up and it's been up. Uh, you know, it had been at 75, it's now over 85. I think that there is a permanent instability in the Middle East, mm. but it's heightened. And I don't think uh, markets know what to make of it. But I just want to remind people, markets went up the week after that horrific Mass attack. Mm -hmm. attack. So markets have never really known how to price Middle Eastern instability. All right. Don't know how to price Middle Eastern instability. Borrowing costs are very high. It's not in the CPI. It used to be in the CPI. Uh, mortgage rates over 7 percent. Uh, if you buy a new car, I think you're going to have to pay about 8 or 9 percent. If you buy a used car, you're going to pay about 12 percent. And um, uh, credit card rates can be 25 percent plus. I think that has something to do with the pessimism among people who are up to their eyeballs in debt. But what do you think? Well, let me give the most objective answer I can that obviously is not meant to be partisan at all. Um, the problem for people who expected this to happen last year, we'd have a big recession, mm. is no one's paying those higher borrowing costs because mm. no one's buying a new home. Volumes collapse. No one wants to sell, get rid of their lower mortgage. You know what the average rate is people are paying on their mortgage in America? It's still about 3%. Mm. It's a new mortgage is 7 but most people are paying 3 And a lot of companies didn't need to go to the bond market at expensive borrowing costs mm. because they'd already borrowed back when rates were lower. I think the Fed knows all this stuff is coming. There's a cliff out there for borrowing costs. So far, they've gotten away with it, but there's an expiration date on that. David Bonson, we appreciate it.